Hi, you're watching Chart House TV, and today we thought we'd take a closer look at the new Glamorca 5 stage RO system. So here we have it, the brand new RO unit from Glamorca, and it doesn't look traditionally like the RO units. No, you, you wouldn't look at that and think it's an RO might unit. Might have seen, um, and we'll come on to that. I guess we just wanted to take a step back, and if you don't have an RO unit or even use RO water, just explain quickly what that is, RO DI water, I guess I should be calling it, um, and why you might want an RO unit or why people use them. Yeah, so I mean, if you're in the fish keeping hobby, you have a freshwater aquarium, a reef tank, or a marine fish only system. Basically the water that you put into that aquarium, you wanna have control over it and know what's in the water. This helps you in the respect that it strips all of the nasties out. Um, any dissolved solids, TDS, um, it will take those out and basically give you pure water. Yeah, so you will attach this RO or the more traditional looking RO units to your mains yep. water and that water will pass through a series of filters and membranes within the unit and do exactly what Steve said, remove all of your total dissolved solids, yep. TDS, which is the measurement that you use to um, see how well your RO is performing. Yeah, yeah. Now you can buy RO units in various stages. So how many stages of filters that water has to pass through. So three, four, five, you can get more than that, but it's com the common size is for the home hobbyist. And this unit is a five stage unit. So five of these membranes is what the water will pass through before it actually um, gets to the section where you're gonna start taking from. So it comes with your membrane, it comes with two carbon filters, which are, um, one is an activated carbon and one is a block carbon. Yep. It comes with a, a DI resin as well. So the DI resin just strips out, uh, basically it's the, normally the last stage and it'll just take out the last little bit of yep. nasties that you want out of the yep. water basically. And then a sediment filter as well. Sediment filter as so well. really this has got you covered with yeah. everything that you're gonna need to produce what you're hoping, a TDS with a level of zero. Um, I guess that if people aren't using an RO unit, they might be buying it from a store. Yeah. Um, or someone like ourselves, you can come and you can collect um, RO water or mixed salt water. And that's absolutely fine if that's convenient for you. But if you're doing that on a regular basis, it can become a bit of a pain and it can also become quite expensive. Yeah. I think if you're doing regular water changes on uh, your, your freshwater aquarium, your marine system, um, it makes sense in the long run to get yourself an RO unit, to plumb it in, and to be able to make that water at home, not having to curry you know, uh, 25 litres around with you in the back of the car. Yeah. Um, so it definitely makes sense in the long run to get one of these yourselves. That's it, yeah. So if, if you're going to invest in one, then this is a new product to the market that yeah. might make you think about getting something like this as opposed to a more, more traditional More unit. traditional. I mean, really the only difference is it looks a little bit different. It's got extra features built into it. But all of those you could buy on a traditional unit and put them on. But the good thing about this, it's uh, basically a plug and play system. Yeah. It's all there ready. You just uh, plumb it up, get it ready, and it's good to go. Yeah. So I guess that's a good point to dig in a little bit more to yeah, the, the features, features and... that um, are actually included on the unit. So give me a moment, excuse me if it's noisy, but these, side unit the other side does as well just comes off as easy as that and i'll just give this a spin around that basically shows you the inside of the unit so as you can see what you've got is you've got three of your five membranes that we just discussed and they are on just like a little cantilever arm and they spin off as a bayonet as easy as that um some of the and more traditional units can be a bit more fiddly to get yeah. the the membranes and cartridges off. So that's a really key feature. And as you can also see, everything that comes with the unit is built inside yeah. this body. So membranes, as we said, you've also see here, you've got a booster pump. Now, RO units work more efficiently at the right pressure. Yeah, they need the right pressure to be going through the sediment, through the membrane, for them to work at their their best and to produce the best water and the, the amount of water that you would expect to get from the system. Yeah. So. And if you've got, if you live in an area where you maybe don't have the water pressure or a house that doesn't have the water pressure, a booster pump is kind of yeah, invaluable. It's, bit it's of essential kit. really. I mean, most of my house, especially the pressure is not particularly good. So 
on my RO system, I have to have a booster pump. Yeah, and that being built into the system, nice and neat, uh, just with your mains power coming out the back is a really great feature. Also, as we mentioned, it's got a TDS meter yep. built in, which is displayed on the front. We'll take a look at it in just a moment. And then one really neat feature, I don't know if you can see it from this side, but at the bottom there, we use some shots that we'll edit in. At the bottom, you've got um, two small prongs that are basically a leak detection probe. So the way this unit is built is that this bottom tray here is designed that if any of these joins leak or your membranes leak, yeah, the water all, pools at the bottom. Yeah, it will pool at the bottom. That will sound an alarm, a um, uh, high-pitched alarm. And also the, the best thing about it will it shut off the power as well. So it will stop producing water. So basically yeah. stop the leak. Yeah, so for those of you that have already got an RO unit and are watching this video because you might be interested in this new design, how many times have you yeah. left the RO on or something's leaked and you've ended up into a flooded floor? Yeah, it's, I've it's, done it for sure. It's definitely, you know, an aspect of this that makes it really appealing to have that that peace of mind that it will shut itself off. Yeah, of course, yeah. And then I'll just spin this back around and you can see that you've got an LED display screen on the front. Um, so that will show you um, whether the unit is First of all, on it and off. Yeah, it shows you what mode you're in. So it'll be on an RO system when it first powers up and start uh, first starts running. You would normally flush the system first. So this has indicators there to say that it's in flush mode. So it's flushing the system out, making sure that the water is as clean as possible. Um, and then it will also tell you on an indicator when it's producing good water. So there's an exclamation mark for flushing and then a little smiley face for when it's producing it's good water. It's actually producing yeah. water, yeah. And then it's also got a, the, as we've mentioned, the TDS meter that's built into the body and that TDS will display yeah. on the front when screen it's running, well. when, when you're producing water, it will give you your TDS. So yeah. hopefully it will always be zero when you're using it. So it will just show zero. Or if it starts creeping up, then you know it may be time to start changing things. But also on there, it's got an indicator, an indication of each of the um, the cartridges, and it will let you know roughly when you're going to need to change them on those indicators as well, which That's is it. a really nice, yeah, really nice touch. Really so nice touch on there. Obviously, it will depend on how hard they're working yeah. over the over the period of time that you're using them. But each of these whether it be a membrane or whether it be a sediment or a carbon, generally speaking, have a shelf life. Yeah. So these will need to be replaced. And this unit is designed to just tell you, when, remind you when each one's going yeah, to be replaced. I mean, I've gone much longer than I should have done with yeah. not changing. So at least it gives you that indication. visual indication and you think, right, I better change it. Yeah. So, I mean, a sediment, um, you will have to replace these, you have to replace all of them, but yeah. I think a sediment um, on this unit, Glamorca are suggesting um, sediment and carbons, I think uh, between four and six months, something yeah. like that. Seven, nine. Um, very similar, six months maybe, depending on your TDS for the DI, and then a year for the um, actual membrane, membrane itself. Yeah. Um, again, as well as a the unit, they're all available yeah, now. Yeah, all of those purchase, spares so are available. You're ready to go. Um, I guess the other thing to talk about is what you get in the box. Yeah. So you obviously get the unit itself, your membranes, you get the instructions. You're also going to get a couple of options for how you connect the unit yeah, to your mains. Yeah, to your mains. You get, with most traditional and, you know, RO units, you get usually a hose bib. So if you've got, if you want to house this inside but plumb it outside, you've got a hose bib to go on a garden tab. Like a threaded garden tab. Yeah, a threaded tab. garden tab or if you've got a, a tap like that built in under your sink which a lot of people do you can connect it straight to that yeah um, and also you've got um, a bit more of an unusual um, a fit in which fits onto um, a screw thread again but normally on a washing machine or a dishwasher you have a cold water feed and it will just fit onto that feed and then you can plumb your washing machine or dishwasher straight back into yeah, or it, you can cap it or you can cap it and it just runs that into yeah. your, your and that's got feed. a really nice little um, ball valve yeah, on which is a nice well, feature which you means can you turn can that off shut the mains off from there it also comes with a little clamp that you can connect to your wastewater yeah. which means you can drill a nice neat little hole and put your waste pipe into um, into the pipe so you've got no open water moving around and then it comes with the pipes that you need to do that so three lengths of two meters two meters yeah. um, each in a different colour so red, white and blue which means that 
you know exactly when you're trying to plumb it up you know exactly yeah, which you know relates which, to which color which relates which is, to what um, but that again if you ever need any more it's all normally available so if you want more lengths of yeah. uh, of that plumbing you can get yeah, it. We'll, again we'll put a link, link in the description stairs. below to, to, to any extra pipe that you need you also get some plumbing tape just in case you sometimes need it on some of the fittings or when you're putting the, your taps. the fittings in the taps it's handy to have that in there and it's that's uh, in the box as well. Yeah. So as Steve said earlier, it really is a plug and play system. Yeah, I mean, you get everything you're going to need from the get-go. You open it up, it's all there, ready to go, and yeah. it makes for a really neat, smart yeah. unit. And that, that's one thing that jumps out to me about this, is that the way that it looks, RO units in the past I, that I've had, I wouldn't have put them next no, to my yeah, tank yeah. or in my cabinet. You'd have them in a cupboard hidden that's away. It. So yeah. now, obviously, depending whether you can get water to your aquarium or you want the pipes running, but if you wanted to have this on display, whether yeah. it be by or in your cabinet of your tank or whether it just be in a utility room or a kitchen where you've mm. got the water coming from, it's a lot nicer and neater to look at than... And when a, they're running, on that note as well, when they're running, the booster pumps can sometimes be noisy, but these ones, they seem to be... Yeah, pretty, especially pretty when they're quiet. built yeah. into an, a unit, you can get a lot of vibration. Yeah, yeah. But we've had a little play with one of these, not this one, but it, it is pretty quiet, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's three about £300? 300, pounds. 300 yeah. Yeah, just again, we'll put a link in the description to the unit itself so if you want any more information... And it is expensive for an RO unit, but when you think about, you've got five stage filtration, yeah. you've got a built-in TDS meter, you've got a built-in booster pump, you've got the Mix alarms, sensor. yeah, you've got the indicators when they're going to be replaced, and you've got obviously the design and engineering that goes into having it in this neat little unit. I think it's yeah, probably I think a just, fair price. Like you say, the engineering and the ease of changing the membranes the you know the sediment and carbon when you need to it's so yeah. easy that i think that is worth the extra money that's it absolutely yeah so as always if you want any more information you're looking to order one uh, we'll put a link down in the description below um and if you've got any questions that you can't find the answers to there as always remember you can reach out to us via comments on this video or go on the website and reach out to our customer support guys and they'd be more than happy to help um I guess that's really, really it. That's it in a nutshell, yeah. Yeah. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can see any of our future Closer Look videos. Don't forget to hit the bell notification to make sure that you're notified when any new videos are released. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. See ya.